Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more cold waters. This is episode number 13. Our mission is to enter the Mediterranean and try to sink some replenishment ships. However, uh, we were just intercepted by an enemy ASW group. As you can see, our boat is currently at periscope depth, and we are picking up quite a few contacts on the sonar. We are going to preemptively drop below this weak layer at 42 meters. Let's go ahead and go down to uh, 46 and deploy our tow array. Nope, looks like we're not able to deploy it. We're too close to the surface. We should be able to deploy that momentarily. And we're already being pinged. Quite a few ships out here. Interesting. There we go. Now we are able to deploy the tow array. We are already being pinged by something out here. And look how quiet it is. Oh my goodness. Well, we should be able to identify these contacts relatively easily. Let's flip through, find what exactly these are. This could be a merchant ship. Let's check. I'm going with they are a surface vessel, considering just how freaking loud they are. Of course, it could be a whale. We have been finding quite a few of those. It is indeed a merchant ship. Let's check these other vessels to see make sure none of them match this one's pretty close it may be another merchant vessel but regardless i want to focus on whichever one is pinging me it looks like it may be sierra four right way out there we will check sierra five now though it's a fairly unique profile here we go another merchant ship okay interesting it looks like these merchant ships are in the way of the rest of the group here. So it may be a little difficult to fire our P700s if need be without uh, accidentally hitting one of these neutral vessels. I'm just trying to flip through these kind of rapidly. I do think this is possibly another merchant ship here. Um, but I could be very wrong. Okay, let's go to warships. Oh, no, nope, it's a merchant, Garcia. Makes it easy. Let's check these other contacts. That's another Garcia. Let's see which of these line up. Sierra 6 way out here. I am curious what she is, but she is not an immediate threat. Let's try to identify these ones that are close. There is a lot of contacts in the water right now. Not a, not a great spot to be in. A Nox. Okay, one Garcia, one Knox, another Garcia. Start from the beginning. I may just try to disengage from this altogether. Uh, it seems like the enemy is far enough away, far enough away, excuse me, where they won't be too much of an issue and I'll be able to get out of here. Belknap, we'll go ahead and identify that. I'm not 100% sure, but these, actually that line is, this first uh, frequency doesn't line up at all, actually. This kind of does. Spruance, whatever. I do think that looks pretty good, at least on these first three. And I kind of see something there. I don't know. I may be imagining it. Let's go ahead and change course. New heading 280. Let's go ahead and slowly turn our boat. I don't really want to fire first, and I don't really want to fire. Let's see how many weapons we have. We have 16 granites. I do want to really save those for our primary objective here. So if we can get out of here um, without being attacked, that would be ideal. So we are going to dive deep down to 300 meters, 335 meters. And let's just try to evade these guys save our ordinance for our mission objectives. Looks like these guys are moving southeast. We should be able to get out of the way fairly easily. And look at us <laughs> just drop down here. Probably retract our tow array soon as well. Let's go ahead and bring it back in. And yeah, Garcia. It's not going to be able to hear us. Neither is this Knox. 
I'm contemplating bumping up to 10 knots, but we'll we'll hang out at five. This Garcia is actually rather concerning. There's a spruance. Oh yeah, this is less than ideal. They're gonna sail right over me. You gotta be kidding me. Hmm. Try to go down to like two, three knots. Let's go deeper. 440 meters. Okay, yeah, this is getting a little tense. Make sure we stop here, 442 meters. That's where we're leveling out at, perfect. Yeah, this whole task force is just sailing right over us. What rotten luck. It's relatively quiet, only 79 decibels. And, uh, thankfully, the Garcia, oh, wrong target. Garcia cannot pick us up. I'm worried that she'll find us on active. She can't hear us on toad either. If need be, I can counter fire with my 6576 torpedoes and my use at 80s. I may have to actually come up a little bit to fire, however. Um, I, I'm not sure if uh, these 6576 torpedoes can be launched at this depth. I know the Shkaval here cannot, and we have to be very shallow to launch that, so that is pretty much out of the question. Well, we're going to roll the dice here. Hopefully this Garcia will not pick us up as it goes pretty much directly overhead, and it is picking us up on active. Let's turn towards it, narrow our profile just a little bit, reduce speed, one knot. I don't know if this is going to work. I probably should have shot first, but okay. Turning towards her did help. Ever so slightly. Let's keep facing directly at her. This Nox is coming in towards us. So far, so good. We're such a big boat, though. It probably will be pretty easy for them to get an active return on us. Especially as they're coming closer and closer. This is not good. This Garcia's extremely close. Oh boy, that's terrifying. Can we actually, oh yeah, here's us and we pop up. There she is. Yeah, not not fun. This is this is actually kind of cool though. Actually trying to evade these guys instead of just blowing them to smithereens, and that that right there is not good. We'll find out if we get fired upon. Oh, she hears us. Uh, weapons are about to start flying, folks. We'll see if they actually end up firing at us. That is, yep. Yeah. There we go. Torpedo in the water. Let's see. Can we fire this this deep? We sure can. Okay. Tube three. Fire. And that torpedo is going to immediately rocket up to the surface. We are also going to fire a U set E. Oh no, we did not want to reload. Okay, we have two enemy torpedoes in the water on Mark 46 that has dropped right underneath us. Let's start moving. Makes turns for 15 knots. Drop the boat down deeper. <clears throat> Debating firing more. I am going to fire our moss off to the north. Actually, 020. All right, tube four is away. Reload another use at 80. Mm. Unfortunately, all of my solutions kind of went to hell here. See if our torpedo, our torpedo is up at the surface already. It's looking good on that end. It's Mark 46 is fairly deep, doing a spiral pattern, slowly coming down. It may pick up our MG 74 and 
get that off our back. Yeah, Mark 46 is what the Garcia launched, and the Garcia just dropped a noisemaker as well. We have another torpedo, or we have a good solution on this Nox here. She is doing some evasive maneuvers, however. We'll wait till she's a little closer, although she is pretty close. To fire. Let's go ahead and load another 6576 torpedo in. Yeah, I was really hoping we wouldn't have to uh, fire anything during this engagement, but I was thinking we'd be able to sneak away. We had the the misfortune of them uh, running right over us, however. So that's just the just the uh, excuse me. That is just the way it is. I do think this torpedo will acquire our Garcia friend. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to wait to fire. These two torpedoes are. Oh, it looks like this torpedo is going for the MG-74. Okay, the enemy Mark 46 has gone active above us somewhere up there. Not sure exactly where that fish is. I'm not too worried about it. It is uh, searching past us. Perfect. Two torpedoes have now acquired our noisemaker and are homing in on it. It's perfect. Okay, we have a really good solution on Sierra 2. I am going to fire at her. Can't fire below. Okay, we got to come up just a little bit. Can't fire below 480 meters. That's fine. We'll come up slightly and engage with a 6576 torpedo. How many of those do we have left? Only five left. And now I'm wondering if I want to fire a... You said 80 at her. Just because we do have... Well, we have the same amount, but these torpedoes are frankly less valuable. Okay, we're up. We're going to fire a 65-76 at her. And we'll have it run right here below her predicted track so it'll come across our wake as these are our wake homing torpedoes and i want to fire it back here so it'll activate and come up to the surface all right there we go tube six away still making 15 knots here i have to admit this is not oh garcia got hit that was unexpected i kind of thought she was going to get away Oh, well, there we go. One escort is down. Our wake homing torpedo finally caught up to her and finished her off. Awesome. And we have our second wake homing torpedo heading towards Sierra 2. Hopefully it will lock onto our wake. Normally the escorts start dropping noisemakers and doing knuckles and all sorts of crazy evasive maneuvers when a torpedo is on them, but this one just kind of sailed in a straight line. Maybe they didn't even realize it was uh, homing in on them. Uh, the Spruance is launching another torpedo. We also have this Nox to deal with. And Sierra 8, it looks like she is sailing away. Understandable. I'm not too, too worried about these Mark 46s as we can go very, very deep and kind of outdive them. This is going to be interesting to see if this torpedo pops up to the surface. Let's drop down, down to 500 meters. Let's find our torpedo and watch it. Okay, this is actually looking very good. It looks like it will come across uh, the Nox's wake here. Or the Spruance, excuse me. I keep calling it a Nox. Looks like we do have a Nox, so. Look at that turn. That's pretty cool. And yeah, she has dropped a noisemaker. Lots of enemy torpedoes in the water at the moment. Let's go ahead and begin reloading, as we're not being very quiet at this point. Uh, they know where we are. I do think I actually saw an enemy helicopter buzzing around somewhere out here earlier as well. Uh, no eyes on it now, however. Just something we do need to be worried about and it looks like our solution for the spruance is uh, not very good 
uh, as we can't see it in the 3D view. Oh, we're passing that noisemaker, though. Well, we will watch our torpedo as it, yep, it has acquired the wake and is homing in. Our boat is currently at 503 meters, so I'm feeling pretty safe down here. And we can push it even deeper, although I'd really rather not test our crush depth uh, right around now. Unless it's absolutely necessary. Rather be safe than sorry. We have Sierra 7 out here. I'm not sure I will take a shot at her. Maybe we can pop up to PD and uh, fire two granites out. Maybe finish off Sierra 7 and Sierra 8, which is still running away. These merchant ships are booking it out of the area as well. I have to say, that's a pretty smart move on their part. Okay, slowly homing in. We have no idea where she is. I have a feeling this torpedo is getting pretty close, however. Do want to see its impact. Another torpedo just entered the water right here. I saw it pop up on the mini-map. Just keeping our eye on the map for any possible threats. It looks like a torpedo uh, searched right above us. It did not acquire us. Let's see, what depth is it? Oh yeah, it's pretty close to the surface. Nothing to really worry about there. There we go, here's our torpedo, and there is the enemy target. It is awfully close, slowly catching up. And uh, yeah, the spruance is absolutely done for. Okay, and that leaves two enemy ASW vessels left. I think once these torpedoes kind of clear out of the area, coming up to uh, missile depth to fire these off would be be a good way to get rid of them, and it would save some torpedoes. Okay, and we're getting close. Boom, torpedo impact. Perfect. And she is going down. What the hell was that? Uh, that must have been a torpedo detonating right there. Just ran out of fuel. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I see our MG-74 is still just uh, swimming out to the northeast there. I don't know how much trouble it's really causing at this point. Let's reduce speed to five knots. Um, and that's actually loaded. Oh, I do not want to use another MG-74 if I can help it. I only have one left. I didn't even realize that. And we want to save that, especially for any engagements we get into in the Mediterranean. That is going to be very tight. Okay, that's another one going down. Let's come up to, I want to say it's just above 100 meters to fire our P-700s. I think this Nox may be within minimum range. However, this Garcia will not be. So we'll go ahead and try. There we go. Another Spruance going down. And deploy our Totoran, please. Go ahead and use some time compression here as our boat comes up to 100 meters something going on look at all those torpedoes just surrounding our noisemaker they obviously think we're up there so it is doing its job for us okay boat is currently at 107 meters there we go now perfect now do i want to pop up our radar uh, i don't want to do that Okay, we gotta be above 47 meters. My apologies. That'll get us, uh, let's go up 30 meters. That'll get us up above the layer and try to get an accurate reading on CR7 and CR8 and prepare to fire. Sierra 8 will definitely be able to be uh, fired upon. 
Sierra 7 may be a little too close. It may be within minimum range. We'll wait and find out. Honestly, there's nothing else out in that area, so I suppose I could just go ahead and fire. And I don't think Sierra 7 is going to be within this range, so. All right. I guess I'll do it from uh, this screen so we can watch. It's always fun. We'll fire at the Garcia first. Fire. And fire. Fire two. There they go. And down we go. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, more missiles are dropped on us. This is a pretty good indicator that there's a submarine uh, in the area. And we'll see how these enemy vessels do. Let's flip through the camera and there's our granites skimming the surface. It looks like it's homing in. Got something. CX6. Contact faded. What the hell? Okay, Sierra 8 has been hit. Garcia is breaking up. Who? Sierra 6. We just lost contact on Sierra 6. I don't know. Our, our P700 may have just um been countered by this Nox. I'm sure there were countermeasures of some sorts. What's our depth? Currently at 98 meters, we're too deep. Okay, start making turns for 15 knots. Let's get up and fire off another one. Um, I'm sure enemy torpedoes are going to be right on our position pretty damn soon. Yeah, there's probably chaff or something. Yeah, there's a Mark 46 dropping down. Let's see if it drops right on us. Uh, it sure did. All ahead flank. Crash dive. Okay, that thing is coming right for us. Okay, now it's circling around. Here's our time. We're cavitating for the time being. That should quit relatively soon, passing 115 meters. Okay, it's gonna get pick us up. No doubt about it. Yep, torpedo has acquired us. Let's keep going down. Drop a noisemaker. Hard to starboard. Wow, did the torpedo go deeper? Oh, jeez. Passing 300 meters. Get ready to drop another noisemaker. We're going to drag this thing until it crushes. Come on, come on, give me another noisemaker. I need it. There we go. Torpedo went for the noisemaker, passing 480 meters. Okay, Mark 46 just merged with our noisemaker, passing 510, 540. Oh shit. Okay, level out, 570. Stop. Okay, positive ballast, please. Okay, level out right here. 630, 600. Okay, get a little up angle going here. 668 meters. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man, that's insane. That is insane. Okay, let's let's stay at 630. Oh man, my heart's beating. <laughs> that was that was a little close. A little close there. Let's see the seabed is at uh 1235 meters, so we would definitely not make it that deep. Okay, we're booking it 30 knots out of the area. The torpedo's spinning around. Looks like it's coming back up. Oh, it's hanging around our um, our noisemakers here. Interesting. Okay, well, in that case, let's turn out of the area. I suppose we can come up and fire another P700 at this knock just to finish it off, get a clean sweep, you know? Some time compression. Make sure we're not diving by accident. Okay, another torpedo has been dropped on our position. Lots of torpedoes in the water now as well. I don't think they have a real good idea where we are, but we can also slow down now. Make turns for five knots. Okay, one torpedo ran out of fuel. 
Let's see if any more are going to be dropped. Once these torpedoes run out of... Oh, well, yeah. Another one right on top of us. Hmm. Deploy the tow array. Okay, there's CR7 right there. More torpedoes. Yeah. She knows exactly where we are. Well, the question is, do I want to act, go active, find her, and fire a 6576 torpedo? I think I will. Let's do it. Go active. She knows where we are. She's sitting dead in the water. That is less than ideal. Hmm. Can't fire below 600 meters. I'm guessing it's a similar story. 480. Okay, come up just a little bit. It's eight meters, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hell, it's clicking. All right, come up to, yeah, 594 meters. That will work. Torpedo in the water. Is that one actually coming straight for us? Oh shit, it sure is. All ahead flank. Secure active. Noise maker. Oh man, is this thing going to actually come down here and hit us? Okay, it. There we go. Yeah, this is like its crush depth. Okay, come up. Let's fire. Back down to five knots. Go active. Rudder amidships. 594 meters. Perfect. Good to launch. We'll fire two. Tube two. Let's make sure. Fire. We'll just fire one for the time being. Secure active sonar. See if we have any more surprises coming our way. They may be out of torpedoes, quite frankly. She's sitting dead in the water. Rig for ultra quiet. More torpedoes in the water. She is moving now. Not surprising at all. This torpedo's awfully close. We have another tor shitload of torpedoes in the water. Okay. Let's go back down. I don't know if that you said 80 is going to pick her up. Oh my gosh. I think <laughs> I think this Nox is tired of dealing with me. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, nine torpedoes. Make turns for 30 knots. We have one coming at us. I have no idea where it is. Sorry, I'm moving the camera fast. I'm just trying to acquire this thing. Holy cow. Look at all the... That is bonkers. 600 meters passing. Holy... I don't think I've seen this many. <laughs> that is absurd. Why didn't they do this in the beginning? That's scary. 640 meters level out here. I'm... Oh my gosh. Look at this. This soup. I'm sure they're all spiraling down slowly. I'm just flipping through. Here's our use at 80. And this is the torpedo we're concerned with. I'm not sure it's going to pop up and find her wake, unfortunately. It might. Um, oh my goodness. I don't even... 6, 8, 9, 10. 10, 12, what, 14 torpedoes? Just from a, a brief, very poor count. <laughs> that is insane. That is insane. From one Nox, too. Supposedly one Nox. We're at 661 meters. Okay, we're not diving anymore. All these Mark 46s. I'm not even going to try. We'll see. She has to be running out soon. She's turning tail and running. Oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna let that uh, settle. <laughs> okay, noisemakers. That is reassuring. 
We'll see if she gets hit. It seems like our use at 80 has acquired. Okay, slow the boat down. All these torpedoes are starting to detonate. Not surprising. There we go. Yeah, they're all done. For the most part, here's our use at 80. Not sure if it's actually uh, tracking a target. In any case, come up. We're going to fire a P700 at it, finish her off. I'm not going to let this uh, this Nox get away with all of that. I don't know if this thing has uh, acquired our, our Nox friend, unfortunately. It seems like it's just running straight, but then again, so is the Nox. Okay, what's our depth? At 500 meters, we still have a ways to go. Oh, there's the Nox there, I'm assuming. It looks like the torpedo ran straight past it. Um, it, Weapons, let's see what we have. We have four USET 80s and four 6576 torpedoes. We're passing 400 meters, 460 meters, excuse me, now. I think I'll fire a 6576 torpedo at her. There we go. And it looks like she's running away. I can't blame her. That's probably a good idea. All right. Tube six. Fire. Oh, torpedo away. Let's see. Hopefully it acquires the Nox's wake. It's looking pretty good at this point. Level out right here. 150-ish meters. Yeah, this Nox is going to get it with this kit here. It's looking pretty good. Dropping noisemakers. And we'll see if it picks up her wake. I kind of want to go active just to get a good position on her, but it ain't worth it. Another noisemaker has been dropped. If anything, the Nox is definitely concerned about this torpedo. I have not seen our torpedo turn or anything just yet, however, so I'm not too convinced it's actually acquired her. Oh, but now it has. There we go. There she is. All right, we got her, folks. What a what a very tense game of uh, cat and mouse. Didn't go the way I expected, to be honest. I did not want to use all of these weapons here. Um, honestly, I didn't want to fire a shot, but... Oh, we were really left with no choice. It would have been hard to get away from all these ships. And that's four more NATO warships that we won't have to deal with later, right? Still have quite a few weapons to do our job in the med. We'll see. We'll eventually find those transport ships and uh, take them out, but... Here we go. We're, she's done for. And torpedo impact. All right, Sierra 7 is breaking up. A very valiant fight. Well, uh... She uh, definitely was a challenge, especially with all those Mark 46 torpedoes in the area. Well, that will finish it. I do believe that is our last enemy in the area besides those air assets, which were buzzing around, but we're gonna go ahead and finish it up in the vicinity of Gibraltar. Nothing nearby. Um, we are good to leave combat. There we go. One Knox, Garcia, two Garcias and one Spruance sunk. Total 11,000 tons. Still have 14 granites, which will be put to good use. All right, good job. Keep up with the mission. Now we're going to, okay, really quickly pause because we have an enemy submarine very close to our current position. I do want to check our briefing real fast, uh, review orders. They're preparing to depart from LA. Now the Suez Canal is in this game, so I have a feeling they probably will try to go up through here if they're departing Los Angeles. Um... Now that begs the question, well, it looks like I have to go through the Strait of Gibraltar and there's a NATO ASW group right there. So that is what we are going to have to contend with in the next episode. 
But that will do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly had quite a bit of fun in this one. It was definitely a fun little game of cat and mouse we were playing with those escorts. But anyway, that's all I have for this one. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like as it really helps out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.